to Candy's Classic Game Shrine, everyone. Today, I'm going to do a bit of a mail call. Got a few things in the mail, and I'd like to show them off. Um, let's start with the thing I got from Ben Venn. Uh, as you all know, I installed his LCD kit a few weeks ago in my Atari Lynx, and it is gorgeous. However, I don't really have that many games to play. Matter of fact, I gave my games away because I ordered this. How awesome, let me just start off by saying this, how freaking awesome is the tie-dye effect on this cart? Now, not only is that awesome, let's turn it around and show off that really cool purple that the motherboard is. So, aesthetics aside, um, I ordered this cart from Ben Venn and it was actually a pre-order. As soon as the pre-orders came out, I received it super quick. It doesn't seem that Customs is holding packages as long as they were before. So that is awesome. Let me show you how it works. To be honest, I've had this opened. I've been playing with it. I've loaded up some games. It's really simple to get these to work and to play your games on it. Um, one thing to note, this is the Model 2 flash cart. The Model 1 will not fit this cart. And to be completely honest, it's pretty snug in the Model 2. So if you have a Model 1, wait for the Model 1 shell to come out. It'll be a lower profile and it'll be able to fit into your console. <clears throat> Personally, I don't care about the snug fit because after this video, this flash cart isn't leaving the system, so. Oh, that screen is so nice. But yeah, it starts up very similar to similar flash carts where you have the menu of games to choose from and then your up and down, left and right will help you go through your files. And then obviously your A and B will select and cancel. I'll do a more in-depth video of this later on. This was just kind of to show off the cart. I absolutely love the color choices. I can't stress that enough. My little tree hugging hippie self loves that tie dye and the purple's really cool too. So let's put these to the side. That fits perfectly in there. Next up is going to be a Virtual Boy thing. Um, behind me, I have the original stand here. However, the medallion is cracked and time is really starting to take its toll on it. And instead of going and buying a third party stand, I wanted to support somebody in the homebrew community and purchase one of their steel milled virtual boy stand medallions. They are absolutely beautiful and the quality is really, really nice. I cannot wait to install this on my virtual boy. Well, virtual boy stand. If that doesn't show up nicely as I'm editing, I'll toss in a still shot of it. Otherwise, you can find pictures on Twitter, my Facebook, or my Instagram. I'll have links below. Last, and most certainly not least. <clears throat> so, you know how I had mentioned in a previous video that the Sharp NES TV controller that I have is one that I made. Um, it's actually this one right here. Looking at it, you know, from a distance, it's pretty convincing. But now I don't actually have to try and play that off as convincing anymore. Now I can just show off the real thing. This is the actual controller for the NES TV. This I will definitely try to get still shots of for the video too. Especially so you can compare the two side by side just so you can see how different they are when you have a real one to compare it to. So this is the real one. This is the fake one. There's some minor differences looking at it. Um, obviously, I didn't put the label on completely even, so you'll see the original face underneath. Aside from that, there's some paint drips because I wasn't really too concerned about how even the paint was going to be since this was just going to be my personal controller and always will be. Uh, another telltale sign. <clears throat> The font on the select and start are much more bold and much more brighter in color than the real controller. It's a much more finer font 
than a fake one. Uh, the same can be said, at least in sharpness, and the font is even a little bit different where it says game television on both controllers. So that's another telltale sign. Um, again, the colors are much brighter on the fake. The real one, the bars are a silverish gold, and this is more of a reddish pink, if I had to say. It was anything, but again, it was for my own purposes, still is. And now I have two nice ones. One is even nicer. Feels good to have the original controller in my collection again. So here's hoping I can find the actual remote to turn the TV and the console on. And with all that said, um, hope you guys enjoyed taking a peek at the goodies that I've recently gotten. And until next time, guys, take care.